Welcome back to Learning with Laser. My name is Allison Laser, and today we are talking about three-year-old milestones. Milestones were um, created and put together to help guide you in the typical development of children. So these milestones are not hard and fast rules. They are generalized and um, stepping stones. So we are gonna be talking about milestones your child shall be working on once they turn three. So between three and four, these are the things that they are working on. Now, they do not have to have them mastered because they are milestones, they're stepping stones. Your child may be weak in one area or strong in another, and therefore you may need to modify based on their age. I'm gonna go over a couple different milestones and a couple different ways to get into these milestones. So let's get started. All right, three-year-olds show affection for friends without prompting. That means you don't have to say, go tell your friend bye-bye, give them a hug bye-bye. You may say it's time to go, and they may naturally go over to their friend and say bye-bye and give them a hug. It also means when you get somewhere, they see someone they like and they run and they give them that hug, that unprompted um, affection. Next is taking turns in games. So this is a challenging one because um, as we know, two-year-olds really like that mine, 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 me, me, me. And as they get into that three-year-old age group, they start to learn a little bit more about sharing. So this can be when they're tossing a ball, knowing that in a group, one person's gonna throw the ball and I might get it, but after I throw it, I might not get it back for a few minutes. It's that taking turns situation. Grammatically, three-year-olds begin understanding mine, his, hers. So they'll say, that's mine or that's his. The, gr the grammatical um, differences between um, mine, 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 they'll start adding in that his, that hers uh, mindset and um, verbalization. Three-year-olds begin um, better assisting in dressing and undressing themselves. This could be as simplistic as they're able to pull their shirt over their head or pull their shirt off their head. For pants, it's a little bit trickier. They will not necessarily be able to get their feet in the holes by themselves, but once their feet are through, they'll be able to pull pants up by themselves. They probably can do socks by themselves if you've shown them how to open the sock and pull it on. Simplistic things like that. Three-year-olds can name most familiar objects. So anything that they see on the day-to-day, -day, they should be able to verbalize the name. I know that's a pillow. I know that's my bed. I know this is where mommy cooks. I know this is the sink. I know that's a towel. Those basic verbalizations of things that they see every day. Um, again, on the grammar side, they're gonna be able to understand basic positional words. Up, down, in, out, behind, those sort of words they're gonna understand and be able to demonstrate that understanding. So it could be holding a teddy bear and saying, I'm going to put it on my head. I'm going to put it behind my back. That type of grammar, positional words. Three-year-olds talk well enough for strangers to understand them most of the time. This does not mean that they don't have some articulation errors and some speech concerns, but for the most part, if they walk up to a stranger, the stranger will understand the gist of the conversation. Three-year-olds can work with toys, buttons, and moving parts. So again, that fine motor, they're getting a little better at it. They're able to twist knobs, um, take apart and put together different types of toys. That can include buttons on a jacket, bigger buttons, or snapping pants. Three-year-olds play make-believe with dolls and animals and cars. So a little bit more of that imaginative make-believe. They're taking that car and they're driving it down the invisible road and they're running into things or being chased by a police car. They're taking dolls and they're feeding them the bottle or changing their clothes or rocking them. That type of um, pretend play, that's a little bit more imaginative. Three-year-olds begin to understand what two the number means. So they know if I say you've got two minutes, you've got a short amount of time, or if I say you can have two more bites, they understand the idea they've got to take two more bites, or maybe you've got two toys. Can you show me two toys? They're understanding that very basic number concept of two. Three-year-olds can turn book pages one at a time. 
Now, I would highly recommend practicing this with board books, not with paper books, because those paper book pages, as we know, paper can stick. But they're able to turn a page of the book instead of just flipping it open and turning it back and forth, that consistent turning of the page, just like you and I do when we're actually reading. Three-year-olds can run easily. They're not tripping and falling and wobbling around. They've got a little bit more stability on their feet. They can pedal a tricycle. So it's definitely a three-wheeled bike that they're not having to balance, but they're able to push their legs with bending knees in that tricycle type pattern. And lastly, they walk up and down stairs one foot on each step, just like you and I do. So these are just a few of the basic three-year-old milestones that are important for this age group. And I'm gonna give you just a couple practical ways to work on a few of these. So when you are working on those base, basic positional words, as I said earlier, you're simply asking them to move something around. Can you put that under the table? Can you put that on top of your head? Can you put it in the closet? Giving them those basic instructions. One, they're working on um, following directions, but they're also utilizing that in, above, on top of, beneath, those sort of words. When playing with toys, a really good way to enhance that is to demonstrate it for them. Oh, I see you have a baby doll. Can you rock the baby to sleep? What does the baby like to play? Does it like to play pat a cake? Can you do pat a cake with it? Asking them to do things they know to do with a toy will engage that make-believe play. Lastly, I'm going to talk about pedaling a tricycle. This is not easy for kids to do, and it has a lot of um, triggers for them to get frustrated and stressed. So if you're introducing a tricycle to your child, I would highly recommend letting them put their feet on the pedals, and then you are pushing them, which, watch your back, but you are pushing them for a while as their feet are moving. So they're getting the movement without having to put the effort into it. Um, when I was in pre-K in the public school system, we had tricycles at recess, and it took a lot of me pushing the tricycle with the child for them to learn that pedaling movement and how to actually push their legs. And sometimes it was me getting them started. Sometimes it was me walking behind and guiding, but allowing them to push and learning that steering technique is really challenging, but they can do it and they love it once they get it. So this is just a little bit of the three-year-old milestones, the things you're working on when your child turns three between the ages of three and four. I hope this was helpful. As always, like, subscribe, um, follow us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And if you've got questions or suggestions of things that you like to do with your three-year-olds, drop them in the comments. We always look forward to hearing from you.